Hi friends, this is lecture number 16 of power system series. Here in this lecture, we are going to study composite stranded conductor. In my previous videos, I told you about solid circular conductor. And I also told you why cross section of a conductor is circular. But these solid conductors have a very big problem of skin effect. The complete concept of skin effect was explained in my lecture number 11 to lecture number 14. The problem of skin effect in solid conductors can be resolved by using stranded conductors. And I explained the concept of stranded conductors in my lecture number 15. As I already told you that stranded conductors have two main issues. One is corona due to non-uniform surface. And another problem of stranded conductor is sag that is due to low tensile strength. Now this problem of sag can be resolved by using composite stranded conductor. So in this lecture we will study composite stranded conductor. From construction point of view, composite stranded conductor are similar to stranded conductors. But in composite stranded conductor, more than one materials are used for construction. So one of these materials is used to improve the tensile strength of stranded conductor. In composite stranded conductor, central strength or we can say internal strengths are made up of steel. Or we can say that the central strengths are made up of material having good mechanical and tensile strength. For example, ACSR is a composite stranded conductor and what is full form of ACSR? ACSR means aluminium conductor steel reinforced. So ACSR conductor is example of composite stranded conductor. In ACSR conductor central or internal strengths are made up of steel and we know that steel has very good tensile and mechanical strength. So in this way Overall tensile strength of a conductor is improved because here we use the steel at center. So here steel conductor is used to provide tensile strength only and it does not carry any current. Now see this diagram of stranded conductor. Here you can see that it has three layers. And you can see this gray colored central strand or this gray colored central conductor is made up of different material. So this material is steel. It improves the overall mechanical strength of conductor. The outer two layers are made up of several aluminum conductors. And these aluminum conductors performs the main function of carrying current. Now the number of these conductors in each layer are fixed. They are not, not variable. We cannot choose arbitrary number of conductors in any layer. So now we will see how to find the number of conductors in each layer. So here suppose in this stranded conductor the number of total conductors used is n. Okay. So n is given by n is equals to 3x square plus 3x plus 1. This n is number of conductor. But what is x? Here the value of x is that is equals to suppose it is a 6 layer conductor. Then value of x is 6 minus 1 that is equals to 5. It means number of layers minus 1 is equals to x. Suppose there is a 5 layer conductor. It means the value of x is 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4. So if we, have, if we have to find the number of conductors in first layer. So what will be number of conductor in first layer? That is equals to 1. Because x is equals to 0 for one layer. So we get n is equals to 1. Suppose there is a stranded conductor which has two layers. Don't read it as second layer. Read it as a, a conductor with two layers. So when conductor has two layers, then x is equals to 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. So putting the value of 1 in this n, we get n is equals to 7. Here 7 means the central one conductor and 
six conductors in second layer. Now suppose read it as third layer read it as suppose a stranded conductor has three layers. Then in that case x will be equals to two because three minus one is equals to two. Now put the value of two in this three x square plus three x plus one. We get n is equals to nineteen. It means in three layer three layered stranded conductor the total number of conductors used will be nineteen. And how these nineteen are distributed in each layer? See the central layer has one conductor. The first layer has six conductor. Central layer, sorry, central layer has one conductor. The second layer has six conductor, and the third layer has twelve conductor. So in this way, three layer, these conductors are distributed in three layers, and the total number of conductors in all layers is equals to nineteen. Now we will see the overall diameter of conductor with n layer. Sorry, not n layer with Okay, overall or dia of conductor with n layer. So overall dia of a stranded conductor D is given by D is equals to two x plus one into D small d. What is small d? It is diameter of each strand, or we can say that it is diameter of each conductor that is used in a stranded conductor. So this is denoted by small d, and capital D is overall dia. So relation between these two is capital D is equals to two x plus one into small d, and we know that how to calculate x. Suppose there is one layer stranded conductor, then it has x is equals to zero, and we get d is equals to d. Obviously, if there is only a single conductor in center, then the overall dia will be equals to the dia of that central conductor. So it is very obvious. suppose if it has two layers stranded conductor has two layers please uh, these this is written by mistake the second layer you can read it as the num the dia of stranded conductor with two layers read it as like this so if stranded conductor has two layers then x is equals to 1 and if we put x is equals to 1 here we get d is equals to 3d Suppose the stranded conductor has three layers, then in that in that case x is equals to two because uh, it is equals to number of layers minus one. So three minus one is equals to two. So d will be equals to put here put to x is equals to two. So we get two into two is equals to four plus one that is equals to five. So d is equals to five d. Now we will discuss the nomenclature of a composite stranded conductor. <coughs> The naming of a stranded conductor is in the form like like this fraction x upon y. Okay, so example is suppose uh, for a stranded conductor, nomenclature is given as six by one or it is given as one by six. Then what it means? Here the number in this fraction, these there are two numbers six and one. So the number which is bigger, it will show the number of aluminium strands. and the number which is smaller it will denote the number of steel strand so in above example you can see that in 6 by 1 or 1 by 6 the bigger number is 6 it means number of aluminium conductors which carry current which performs the function of carrying current will be equals to 6 and number of steel conductors will be equals to 1 so this is the way to read the nomenclature of stranded conductor so the conclusion is composite stranded conductors eliminate the problem of sag and skin effect but the problem of corona due to surface irregularities still remain intact so in my next lecture we will study another conductor type which will not only give the tensile strength to the conductor but it will also minimize the problem of corona so we will study next advanced conductor in my next lecture till then thank you jashi